Hello, everyone. I'm sharing my screen. So can you please, at this time, make sure that you're able to view the PowerPoint. You want to ensure that you can see the dual screen view. Are we all good? OK, now I'm going to need a couple of volunteers. Typically, um, so if I have my first volunteer and I'm doing monsters. Ooh. I did see a hand up. Kiana, love the hat. So Kiana, thank you for being our first contestant today. With old school movies, there were a lot of scary things out there. From the creature from the Black Lagoon, Dracula, the mummy, the Invisible Man. Let's talk a little bit about Frankenstein. Frankenstein was something that had to be created. So some people got together and said, we need this and we need this to happen. Well, there was also the Bride of Frankenstein that was created for Frankenstein. Our first table topic today for you would be have you ever been fixed up with somebody? The bride was fixed up with Frankenstein and that didn't go too well. Can you please give us a one to two minute table topic on, let us know if you were ever fixed up. Thank you. So was I ever fixed up? The question and the answer to that is yes. The person I was fixed up with is my husband that I've now been married to for over uh, 20 years, but we've been together for about 30 years. <laughs> and we were fixed up at Astral World. So I don't know if uh, many of you guys remember we had a theme park in Houston that closed down and I was fixed up by his brothers and his friends. So I used to work in the games session I was playing the games. My husband was too shy to come and talk to me. So back then you'd have your friends go and, and talk to the person for you. <laughs> and that's what happened. And we exchanged numbers. Or actually um, back then the, the cell phones weren't like that. We actually had pagers. <laughs> Cell phones were too expensive at that time for us to have. So we exchanged our pager numbers and we've been together for a long time. So we were definitely fixed up. And I, I wouldn't, I would say that we've been through our years and maybe there were times where I was the bride of Frankenstein <laughs> and he was Frankenstein. And we just, you know, understand each other and that's, we're still together. Awesome, thank you, Kiana. <laughs> Keeping with the theme of the movie, so do you think that was like love at first sight or should we say for monsters, love at first bite? <laughs> Let's move on to our <laughs> second favorite topic. The mummy. Hmm, are we gonna do the mummy, talk about baggage? how people have bandages or sometimes people have baggage that they're carrying around. Ah, I think we're going to move forward to the next one. <gasps> Did your screen go blank? Do you see anything at all? I need a volunteer so I can tell you what this screen represents. May I have a speaker? Yvette Hayes. Hello, Yvette. Hi, Charlotte. Hi. Like this screen, there's the invisible man. Have you ever had something just like disappear? Think about this year in 2020. We definitely didn't know it was gonna end this way, but what else seemed to disappear in your life? Yvette. My job, my job disappeared in March, but I've been able to maintain the sanity along with a wealth of happiness and peace through my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I cannot thank him enough for what he's done. I'm so happy and I'm at peace with it. Some people probably would go to the bottle or maybe would go 
do whatever to themselves, but I've been at peace with it. I found new adventures and I can't ask for a better way to just have more peace. The only thing that's really gotten me down is my knees. My knees are acting up probably because I, I work so hard on that job. My body is in remission and it doesn't want to act right anymore. So, <laughs> but I'm thankful that I'm able to still move, but I'm, I'm thankful about a lot of things. I just lost, lost the job, but I found peace in this, in this chaos of a time that we have it now. I can't ask for a better way to end it either. I'm still at peace. Coming into the holiday season, I have, I find joy. I find joy. Thank you so much, Yvette. Thank you, thank you. Now for our next Table Topics contestant. <clears throat> I'd like to find, do I have a volunteer here? And you don't necessarily have to be part of the DC universe because villains can be anywhere. You can be Marvel fans too. Sonia, I see your hand. Thank you. So Sonia, in life, just like in the Gotham universe, the DC universe, there are several characters that we come in contact with. Like today, we were Zoom bombed, oh, unsavory character. But sometimes in life, we do have to deal with characters. Can you let us know a character that you've dealt with this year and how you've had a positive effect from it? Okay. Thank you, Sonia. Absolutely. So I think I've come in, in contact with Catwoman. Um, I've met a person recently and she was quite, she was quite um, beautiful and she also had a, a lot to offer and she was really positive. When I first saw her, I was a gorg uh, with her presentation of how much she knew about certain topics, specifically about certain things dealing with how to research and I was quite taken back with her and she left a positive impact on me because she cared so much about not just herself but the environments and the people surrounding us in our communities. So she is the person that I was really happy to meet and I will be keeping in contact with her. Okay, and now it's green. Thank you so much, Sonia. Okay, so thank you, ladies and gentlemen. This is gonna wrap up our first round, but I do want to just say, with this dress, even though it was made for Hamilton, it can be seen as a little gothic because I don't care about werewolves. I am a vampire. Here's my big red and my take a sip of something tasty for me. So now as we have our, <laughs> our speakers for today, can we please get a timers report? We have Kiana, one minute, 30 seconds. Yvette, one minute, 40 seconds. Sonia, one minute. Thank you, before we vote, we're gonna ask, turn it back over to our topics master, sorry, our toast master, so that she can interview a few of you. Thank you. 